The Crito is a platonic dialogue that relates a conversation between Socrates and his friend Crito while Socrates is in prison awaiting his day of execution. There are four important ideas that the dialogue considers. The first idea is that the multitude can do neither good nor harm, and that the multitude's actions are utterly random and irrational. Shakespeare noted the fickleness of a crowd in the following quote, Was ever feather so lightly blown to and fro as this multitude? Indeed, the judgment of the multitude constantly changes with remarkable celerity. It is also impossible to determine why their judgment changes. Their judgment appears to be irrational and random. The multitude will love someone for a certain quality and hate another for the same exact quality. They will love one person today and hate the same person tomorrow. The second idea examined in the dialogue is that men should only regard the opinions of wise men. Socrates uses an analogy of a gymnast and his trainer. The gymnast should only regard the praise, criticism, and teachings of his trainer and should disregard everyone else's opinion. If he does not regard his trainer's wisdom, then he will likely suffer harm and not improve his gymnastic ability to the utmost. Furthermore, if he regards the opinion of the multitude that is ignorant of the proper techniques and exercises required to improve in gymnastics, then he will again suffer harm and fall short of the greatness of which he is capable. This analogy holds true in all other endeavors. A man who wants to improve his soul should only regard the opinion of one who knows how to improve the soul, who has an understanding of justice, and who knows how one ought to live. The third idea presented in the dialogue is that one ought never to do harm. Neither injury nor retaliation for warding off of evil by evil is just. To do injustice is always unjust, regardless of the situation. This sentiment contradicts Socrates' earlier exhortation to disregard everything except honor. In the Apology, Socrates recalls the story of how Achilles avenged Patroclus' death by slaying Hector. Socrates extols Achilles' virtue and his desire to die honorably to avenge Patroclus' death rather than live a dishonorable life. Furthermore, Socrates asserts that one must obey the commands of the states in the court of law and the battlefield. If the state commands its citizens to kill citizens of another state with which they are at war, then the citizens must obey. It would be dishonorable and unjust to do otherwise. However, Socrates states that it is always unjust to do harm. Socrates appears to give inconsistent guidance. On the other hand, Socrates could assert that killing a foe in battle is not unjust because the slain soldier does not suffer harm, but rather an honorable death in battle. Finally, the fourth idea is the social contract theory. In the last few paragraphs of the Crito, Socrates asserts that every citizen is free to leave the city after learning of the structure of the laws and how the laws function. But if a citizen chooses to remain in the city of his own volition, then he implicitly agrees to enter into a contract with the state to abide by its laws. Socrates does claim that a man can try to persuade the state to change laws which he deems to be unjust, but if he cannot, then he must abide by them.